Hello, welcome back to my channel, the place to be for parents who want the very best from their little one's sleep. So this episode is all about travel. I'm going to be giving you some amazing tips for traveling with your children and particularly today focusing on the journey itself. So stick around because I'm going to give you the three best things that you can think about when it comes to traveling with children. Okay, so diving in, the three things that I want to share with you to make that journey and traveling with children a lot less stressful. Number one, entertainment. It seems obvious, but actually, the entertainment that your little one's going to be most entertained by is going to vary at every age. So, what entertains a younger baby toddler sort of age is going to be very different to a four, five, six, seven year old. It's going to change, it's going to evolve. And what you can have for entertainment is going to vary depending on the form of travel, the form of transport. Are you on an aeroplane, a car, a coach, a train, a ferry? So the ability to move around might be different, whether they can use Wi-Fi um, screens or whether they need to have books, like what, what forms of entertainment are going to be appropriate for the journey. So consider that what's going to be appropriate for the form of transport and also for the age of the child. And also, um, think about what could be new. Now, this applies at all ages. What could you whip out that's brand new for the journey? For instance, for a toddler, could you get a little bunch of, you know, um, like party bag type toys? Brand new things that they've never seen before that you pop into a bag and then one by one on the journey, you're like, oh, what's this? Oh, what's this? Because we all know that despite the fact they may have their favorite toy, it's the new one, it's the different one, the thing they haven't seen before that's the most exciting, that's going to captivate their attention and keep them content and entertained for a period of time. So being able to pull out a new, unseen before thing is definitely gonna be great. And that can evolve at different ages. So for a child a bit older, it could be a new book, a new book to read or a magazine, or if you like listening to audios, audiobooks, or even in the car, for instance, it could be that you get that new audio downloaded and onto the device, the headphones prepared, everything you need so that they can have that brand new audio and be excited and get into that as well. So newness is also a great thing to think about when it comes to the entertainment. So think about where you're gonna be able to provide that entertainment, do they have restricted movement, what format it should come in and how you can make it new and exciting and different. Okay, the other two things, uh, number two is food. Make sure you're equipped, no matter what form of transport you're taking, with that journey, make sure that you are able to provide food and water because we all know and we're like it a bit too as adults, but children in particular, they struggle with their mood and their emotions um, when they're hungry, or hangry, <laughs> and so, and thirsty. Their hydration and their food is gonna be really important. So just make sure you're armed with that. Think ahead, plan ahead, and also plan for delays and unexpected situations where you may be stuck without food or water. Plan ahead and be equipped. And the last one I want to talk about about the journey is that the sleep rules change. You're not going to be necessarily letting them sleep at the same times as they normally would or in the same space. So they may be sleeping in an airplane seat or a car seat uh, for a period of time. They may um, sleep at a different time. Don't worry about the nap schedule. Don't worry so much about the routine that you normally have because if you are in transit when you're traveling, you feel different. You might sleep on a plane during the day when you wouldn't normally because that motion lulls you off. It's okay. It might actually prepare you for a, a bit of a deficit in your sleep when you arrive or with the time zone. So it really doesn't matter. So what I'm saying here is let down any stresses about meticulous rules with the sleep during the travel day. You can allow extra sleep if it happens. Don't panic. You can no, don't worry so much if, if a nap doesn't happen when it normally would because it will probably be made up for at another time. The travel day is the travel day. So just make sure it's comfortable and enjoy the ride. I hope these tips help you to have a better journey this season if you are getting away or traveling with your children. Um, we'd love to hear your comments below um, or questions if you have any. So 
enjoy and I will see you in the next episode where I'm going to be honing in on time zones. So I'll catch you over there real soon. Take care. Thanks so much for watching. If you've liked anything about this episode, then please leave a comment below and hit subscribe for more episodes like this. If any of your friends would benefit from seeing this video, then please do share it with them using the hashtag the sleep nanny. And we look forward to seeing you again real soon.